Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Deltarune. In the last episode, we got our first party member and learned of our quest. So let's begin thy quest, but first... Remember all the things I didn't explain? Oh, Chris! It's the training dummy I made! Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Sure! Okay, get ready, Chris! See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP, depending on who's targeted, as you can see over there to the left. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. I'll try. Ready? Let's try dodging. Now, if you graze the bullet and your heart doesn't get hit, you'll earn TP, but we'll explain that in a minute. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Sure. Wow, wow, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Now how it works is you'll see a white box appear and a blue box appear. Now when the white little rectangular box thing goes into the blue one, you can attack. Now if you hit that smaller one, you can do a critical hit. Have you done this before or something? Okay, next let's try defending. Simply defend and the enemy's attack will hurt less. Well, not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. So let's defend. Bam! We get TP. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered enough TP, gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. So I'll go to his magic and use pacify on the dummy. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I just now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting through this. Now acting through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? Let's act. We can hug the dummy, or we can hug Ralsei. C c chris Um, I don't think, um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But... But what? Let's hug him again and see if he tells us. Chris? Are you trying to, um, ask me to give you a tutorial on hugging? Um, I've never hugged anyone before, besides the dummy, to test it out. So I don't know anything about it, sorry. I suppose you're the one teaching me, heh. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I don't know if it goes on any further, so let's hug the dummy. Aw, that's great, Chris! Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. So, now that his name is turned yellow, let's spare him. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end of it in a that'd be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. With that we win and get zero XP and four dark dollars. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. We got the manual. Sweet. But we don't need to check that out. Oh my, the great door is opened? No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. 
This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try to try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were the hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Alright, let's go to the door. Now, let me turn Steam to, uh, you know what, I keep forgetting to do that. Because when people message me, then I can't see the timer on the thing. Alrighty, with the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. Power of adventure shines within you. Alrighty, let's get going. I hope you don't love the footsteps too much, because we're about to lose them. Field of hopes and dreams. Enemies ahead, you're gonna die! Signed, Lancer. Alright, thank you. Well, hello there, friend. He wants to fight. Rudin, draw near. Drew near. So let's act and let's convince. You defend. I told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then he still attacks us. I want you guys to do me a favor and remember a lot of the attacks you see throughout the game. Also, the more TP you have at the end of a battle, the more gold, I mean, the more dark dollars you'll earn. With that, he is spared. We get 38 dark dollars. Now, let's continue onwards. Another sign. If you are reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. If we're dead, then how the hell are we going to read it? That doesn't make sense, Lancer. Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. Signed, Lancer. Oh, hello, Lancer. Ho, ho, ho. If it isn't my two favorite people. Psych. You guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho, ho, ho. You fools. You are too late to stop me. What did you do? Ha, <laughs> ha, It was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. Well, that is pretty simple. That's a bit anticlimactic. Yeah, she makes it sound like, you know, she beat, he beat her up. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? Signed, Lancer. He's lying. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. You got the dark candy. What does the dark candy do? Also, this is our menu. Items, equipment, power, which is, uh, I think, our magic and whatnot. And then we have configuration, which we don't need to go to. Anyways, dark candy heals 40 HP. A red and black star that tastes like marshmallows. Glow shard is sold in the shop, though I've never sold it before. Hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Fine, we'll deal with it anyways. Bring it on, boy. Let's just convince them. You defend so we can get our TP up. Yes, he was swayed, but the other one isn't. Did the top one change color? I think it did. Alright, I'm going to act and convince him while Rawl say will spare the first one. With that, one of them is gone. Their attacks aren't as intense. Yeah, the more enemies on the field, the more intense it is. The more intense the attack is, basically. Yay, we won and got 71 dark dollars. Nice. Huh? What happened here? Mamma Miba, I'm Top Chef. My latest cake worked me to exhaustion. So I took a little nap. But the Mamma Miba, a scary noise woke me up. A beast was hunched on top of the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water and it hissed and ran off. But my wonderful cake is... Aww, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. 
The remains of a cake are still smoldering. Take a piece? Nah, let's not be a jerk. Decided putting the cake in your pockets is a bad idea. It'll get all mushy, don't you know? Hi there. Oh, we have a new enemy. It is Hathi. Now we can do a different type of act, where more than one party member does something. x flatter. That should sway all the enemies on the field. I ordered Ralsei to flatter the enemies. I'm making tea later. Um, would you like any? Shine, shine! They love it. I don't care if we get hit. It barely does any damage right now. Alright, let's smear them both. With that, we win and get 61 dark dollars. Not too shabby. Alright, we have another dark candy tree here, so let's take one. Check the clock. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll have to hurry. So, when we hit this, a timer will start. Hit all the buttons in time. And that's it. Easy peasy. Yeah, no text there. Behold, the maze of death. Prepare to get lost, clowns. Signed, Lancer. Fine, you jerk. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among the trees, these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Huh? It's some sort of enemy. Looks like they got clobbered. Ouch. Yeah, look at these horrible twists and turns. Hmm, there's a sign here. Hey, wait. Where am I? Help. Somebody help. I'm lost. And Lancer got lost. But we have a chest over here. We opened the treasure chest. Inside was a white ribbon. I put the right ribbon in my armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it'd look great on you. So we hit C, go to equip, then we select Chris, then go to slot number one and put on the white ribbon. A crinkly hair ribbon that slightly increases your defense. It ups our cuteness. Alrighty, let's move onwards. Anything to the south? Just some signs. Hey, don't look. This sign's private. Signed, Lancer. Oh, it's just this way. Signed, Lancer. Now, but if we hit up and to the right, we'll find an enemy. But, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. The purple beast is roaming, clobbering anyone who dares block her way. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. We don't even like fighting. The, the king left us no choice. Aw. Oh, oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie quick. I hate it when my throat gets scratchy. Ho, ho, ho! Somehow you survived the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch, isn't it, chickens? Let's see how you fare against this team. Uh-oh. Let's act and sway them all. I'm making t uh, he usually says other things, but he didn't this time. But with that, they're all swayed. And that's it. Hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. And that's, um, unusual somehow. Why don't we talk this- why don't we talk about this after the battle? It smells like a soft kiss. Alrighty, let's spare them all. That's two, but we still got one more. Alright, the heart will spin around and go down. You gotta go in whatever direction it's pointing. Alright, you defend. And with that, great job, Chris. We are in zero XP and... 94 dark dollars. Sweet! How much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No! Fine. Later, losers. Well, that was easy. Sup? I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. Well, that's lazy. 
We have another puzzle here. Let's try to solve it. Hit the buttons before we can't do it anymore. Uh oh. We can't do it. Damn. Guess we'll just have to push forward. Hey, it's Susie! Ugh. Open up, you stupid door. Oh, great. It's you guys. Susie! We were ever so worried about you. Um, how did you get past those spikes before? Walk through them. But this door sucks. Aw, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't be making it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep. And with that, let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. Awesome. Oh no, Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. Oh, well, that sort of spoils that. Whatever, let's go solve the puzzle. No worries, she follows normally. So, let's push the buttons. Let's board those little platforms. And that's it. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, look at that, a convenient battle. See Ron attacked violently. You recall Rossi's advice to include Susie in an act. What I'd suggest doing instead is warning. We warned C Round about Susie. It seems barely cognizant of what it, that means. Hey, wait! Why the hell are you giving the enemy advice? Um, so we don't accidentally hurt it? Hurting it is the point, you moron! It attacked us, so it dies. Simple, right? But, but, Susie, what if the enemy might be, um, nice? Okay, yeah, there's a word for that. Oh, what is it? Striking first. Ah, you idiots. It got away. Wow, that was close, Chris. Maybe I should talk to her. With that, we win and get nothing. I snuck by and made a sign. Yeah, while we were fighting, he made a pointless sign. Alright, let's go through the door we opened. Um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have the power to make a peaceful future. So, from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell. Which can put an exhausted put exhausted people to sleep. Ah, yeah, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. You might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Yeah, she's whispering that to us. Susie, the violet tormentor, is now your ally. The power of mean girls shines within you. Well, hello there, buddy. Hey, hey, kid. Want to buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. We don't have to, but I want to be nice. But really? You'll really buy it? Hee hee hee. Right this way, gentler, gentleners. We don't have to do anything about it. There's a shop with goodies in there. Hee. Welcome, travelers. We can buy dark candy, dark burger, which is really good. And then we have armor. Now, we don't really have much money, so for now, let's just not buy anything. There's no point right now. Alrighty, let's move forward. Hey, look at that! What the? It's a lone door frame, but for some reason you can't see through it. We also can't go into it. Guess we'll just push forward. 
Well, hello, Lancer. Well, flip my flapjacks. The clowns are back in town. Well, bad news. Since you last saw me several minutes ago, I've created a brand new fighting team ready to stop you. Not even the purple girl can stop me now. Ho ho ho, are you ready to be... Stop. Stop talking. Ho ho ho. What is that? Why are you saying that? Ho ho ho. It's my evil laugh. Scary, right? You sound like a baby Santa Claus. Uh, you mean like in a badass way? Shut up. Uh-oh. You really think you know how to be scary? W well I... Wrong. Man, wannabe tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary. Even picked you up and bit off your face. Th that's not true. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Lancer's fucked now. Then why don't we prove it? We'll start with that, the part where your face gets bit off. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Thank you, purple girl. What? Thanks. It was kind of you. To teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. Hey, I wasn't... And now... Yeah, he'll do the same evil laugh and we'll have to fight those things. You're gonna, you're going to be thrashed. Merry Christmas! I guess that's kind of an improvement. Anyways, we have a new bunch of enemies. A board of Jigsawries blocked away. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Jigsawry? Yeah, that's right. Anyways, we need to warn them first. Don't worry, when you warn them, all enemies are warned. So now Susie can't hurt them. But put up your dukes, butto. Put up your dukes, butto. I didn't get the last one. Dodge the puzzle pieces. Uh, we got Susie hurt, who cares? And as we need to befriend them all slowly. Very lift of the finger and and that's it. Now they're happy to be our friend. I always wanted a friend just like you. Dodge the puzzle pieces. And with that now we can spare them. Sweet! Good job, Susie. You're great. Alright, one last dodge and fast puzzles. Alright, I'll spare him. You defend. With that, we win, getting 79 dark dollars. Cool. It's Coolio. Oh, look, Chris. Another puzzle. Oh, no. Let's read the instructions. Uh huh. The instructions are vandalized. It says, Thou fools, thou fools, thou will never figure it out now. Ruining instructions. That's definitely against the rules. Then it um says, P.S. I make my own rules. R.K. Who's R.K.? Well, that explains that. Why don't we just climb over this spiked fence? Um, because then we'd get impaled and die? Cool. I'll work on that, and you do the puzzle. Wow, Susie, so you're stupid. Um, try your best, Chris. I don't know, guys. This looks really tough. I don't think we'll be able to solve this puzzle. Hardest puzzle in the world. Great job, Chris. I think you're onto something. Nah, no, I'm not. Hey, Chris, give up whenever you feel like it. It's all good. Oh, no, I didn't think we were going to be able to do that. Woohoo! You did it! Chris, great job. Damn. Didn't get to impale myself. Oh well. Come on, chumps. Good job, Chris. Yeah, she's all butt-headed and Rawl say is really nice. Alrighty, instead of heading right, we're gonna go up to an optional spot. Let's see if we can avoid any encounters here. Wait, there are none. From the bottom, the Order of Rooms and Card Castle. Of course, if you haven't been there, you won't know it. Or if you've played the game as much as I have, you will know it. So, we want to make a diamond. Let's see. Put 
put that down, put that down, and then put a spade down. You want a diamond heart, clover, spade. And with that, we'll unlock a secret treasure chest, which contains broken key C. Put the broken key C in our key items. Ooh, mysterious. That means there must be more of them. How many to be exact? Three. That's one of three. Ah, we almost avoided them. Various guys appeared. We have a Hathi and two, whatchamacallits, Rudens. Go for the Hathi and X Flatter. Oh, we have to warn him first, damn. Because Susie does hit hard. Long live the guy who pays us. Jeez, what a traitor. Oops, I forgot to move. Alrighty, now that they're warned, let's X Flatter. Come on, you normally say like two or three other things. But that is enough to make them all our friend. Just dodge the diamonds, and then let's spare them. I should have saved the Hathi alone, because his attacks are the easiest to dodge. Oh, this is an easy attack to dodge, though so remember that attack too. Anyone who's played this will know exactly what I'm talking about. Won't you, Dart, scout the furret? When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. Basically, if you touch that light, you'll be teleported back to the start of the room you're in. So, don't step into the light when it's activated. This is a checkerboard, if you couldn't tell. Run fast, and you can avoid the encounters! Ah, oh, we were too slow. Pawn man drew near. Alright, let's warn them. These enemies aren't very fun to deal with. Alrighty, his attack is that. I don't know why it makes the heart damage sound, but it does. Alright, let's use Lullaby. Pond Man fell asleep, Susie fell asleep, but the enemies became tired. Oh, that's strange. Why did Susie fall asleep? Alrighty, dodge the last one's attacks. Yeah, for someone that's becoming tired, he can sure attack. Alright, now the first one's yellow and the second one's blue, so you know what to do. Oh, wait, but we don't have enough, do we? So what we need to do is... Good night, and have him spare the first. Now both are asleep and neither will attack. And then we can spare him and end the battle. Nice. 53 Dark Dollars isn't too bad. Alright, we got the same light thing as before, but we gotta switch sides before the light on our side activates. Ha ha ha! So you've grown- you've begun to cross the great board. The halfway point to our castle. Hmm, impressive. So it's a shame... ...you won't make it a step further. Cause my guys are about to smash you into blood. Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Hey, Purple Girl. Was that scarier? Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool at being terrifying. I want to be as scary as you. You want to be like me? Aww. Yeah! Well, that's stupid. But, um, the new laugh isn't as awful. And saying you turn this into blood is cool. What the hell is up with the bucket, though? It's to put the blood in. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, uh, supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scarier. Um, no problem, I guess. Heh <laughs> So, are you guys gonna attack us, or...? Oh, yeah! I was so excited I forgot to bring any guys. But next time, it'll be the end for... Hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns. Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris, we should come up with a name. No, we shouldn't. Then it's decided. Everyone puts a name into the bucket. Fun fact. I'll tell you in a second. Alright, everyone's putting in their entries. Blue person, can you choose? Since you look like you don't care. 
Now, you cannot choose his, no matter what, but you can choose these two, I think. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Take the paper with Lancer written on the outside. We open it up. On the inside, it also says Lancer. Wow! Who did that one? It's really good! Wait, why do you get to choose the name? Hey, he didn't. Chris did. Yeah, it doesn't matter who may have written it. Regardless, Lance is going to meet an absolute doom. This name feels weird, actually. Hmm. I know, let's call it the Lancer Fan Club for short. See you later, me. Not a safe one appears. The power of the Lancer Fan Club shines within you. The other choice is the fun gang. Anyways, we're going to finish the board up next time on Let's Play Deltarune.